Welcome. Oh, man. Thank you, Hello, for that. We're doing a charity stream, which I'm very happy about. And we got the charity I wanted, so I'm happy about that. Um, boy. Hello, Nyuthal. Uh, <laughs> hey, MVT. Uh, oh, yeah, happy Pride Month to those that celebrate. I guess that's all of us, because even if you're not, you're an ally. I would hope so. Anyway, um... No one can Thank you. my power. <laughs> yeah, huge shout out. Let me tell you the trials and shit. First off, I don't know if you've known this, like, with this entire stream, with the Discord, all this stuff. I can't set these things up. I can't even put this thing on my headphones. I am very much... I can't fill out paperwork. I'm good for one thing. And that's streaming the hell out of Danganronpa. He put me on Earth for one reason. And that was it. <laughs> oh, thank you, God Lord. Yeah, um... Yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, it's a um, really good charity. It started in San Francisco, and they have six locations now um, for STEM research for um, young black girls. Uh, and yeah, I was thinking, obviously, with all the... I'm not going to be looking at you as I put this thing on my headphones. Um, with everything going on, uh, you know, it we... I, I basically, last night, or I think I, I made the announcement with the stream thing, and the stream just felt weird. Felt weird kind of to be going about business as usual with everything. Um, well, thank you. Uh, yeah, and for every sub, um, this is something I'll just have to manually shut. Oh, God, do I get it? Did I get it? I think I did. Um, for every sub during this week, I will donate a dollar. So, if you want to do your sub thing. But also, all of the donations go directly to the charity. Um, God, I hate these headphones. And my other one, the other cord went out. Why is everything so difficult? Why can't I just have an easy life? Don't tell people how I live. Oh, God. Anyway, for the last hour, hello and I... Did I get it? Oh, thank God. Thank God. I just gotta be careful. Why is stuff so hard? <laughs> um, no, um... Anyway, uh... Yeah, finally. I got these things on. No, it felt weird to... With everything going on, just be like, and we're gonna stream Rampa. So I thought about not doing it. But also, I was like, well, we need a diversion. I was like, well, I probably should then. But, um, y'all kept me going and, uh... For the Tanaka Empire! Seven months! Thank you, Hillo! I guess I just need to keep a tally of everyone that's subscribing so I can give a dollar off of that. Um... Oh. Uh... Yeah. Anyway, um... Yeah, so anyway, I set up a charity. I, 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 did, I was able to do it. And then, um, ultimate genuinely good guy. And gorgeous girl inventor. I only do the chess thing for, for, um, a late girl. She would appreciate that. Um, why do I keep wanting to calling her a Fumi? Her name's not a, it's Miyu. I got a Fumi on the brain. Always. And whenever I start thinking about... Well, anyway, that's so weird. Anyway, I was, um... BG... Oh, God. Did the... Let me see. Let me test the uh, donate button. Donate button. Oh, I don't know. Works for me. This donate button... Oh, God, I like how I put it. It's big over the donate button. Yeah, for some reason. 
Just go with it. Listen, you're not here for the aesthetically pleasing things. Um. Anyway, I set it up in my name, and then I hit something that was like, Oh, you're the charity! You are Black Girls Code. And I was like, No, I'm not. And then I tried to just delink it, and it just wouldn't do it. I think I'm forever linked with it. And I was just swearing. Oh, God, I was just like, that's not how it goes. Anyway, you're up to one, two, three subs. So, um, yeah, anyway, we're going to be uh, going through. Uh, let's see. Where's the link? Let's see. That's the donate link. Then how can we track our progress with it? Where's the actual? Oh, we had put a black girl's code too. Because there was already one and it was, uh, where do we see our, um, where we're at with it? Oh, thank you, Jane. Thank you. Uh, where is the, um, where can we see our progress? Hello. There we go. Continue. Okay. There we are. Yay. Yay, okay, we're at $90. Thank you. And we just started. Um, Jane. Uh, and then, what's the other one? The Onion. Who is this? Uh, uh, anyway, cool, we're at $90. We'll do periodic checks. But, um... Yeah. Also, um, that go that donation goes towards your Dark Deva because we reset the Dark Deva of the month. So, anyway, I want to make sure that when you give to that, it goes towards your Dark Deva um, thing. So, yeah, don't worry. Anyway, it's a thing. Oh, God. Stressful. So stressful. Anyway, we're up and running. There we go. And thank you, Kingar. You're a gentleman and a scholar. All right. And tell Grandma hello. All right, guys. Oh, good, Santa. We're all here. All right, guys. So, yeah. Anyway, this is a, um, if you're just joining us, a uh, charity stream for uh, Black Girls Code. Really great organization. Um, and it's a smaller one that's pro really big with me. Because um, I do support Black Lives Matter. I think that should go without saying. But, um, yeah, definitely. Um the charities I actually donate to are smaller ones, though. Um, I don't really, I don't donate to the Red Cross. I usually try to find some local food bank to donate to. Um, I, I, and I like uh, things with kids. Part of the cynic is me. Because adults are already doomed. If you made it this far, we're all doomed. But there is hope. There's future. Um, and yeah, if you look at it, um, girls of color form a very small percentage. I believe it's like 3% of all coders. Um, yeah, always research it. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, anyway, I, I saw it. My buddy uh, James Williams donated to it, and I did some research on it. I was like, basically all day, I was like, what's a smaller one I can donate to? And uh, that was the one. So, anyway, some would say hope, Nagito. So, don't go into despair. Um, oh, I need to put up one of my, uh, for one of the bit things, um, my character Sigma, when he begins his, uh, ultra move, one of his lines is, I will show you true despair! 
And I was like, we could have been using that for hope and despair the entire time. Ah. Uh, so anyway. Yeah, let's, uh, let's rock and roll. Uh. The Gundam lap will still be there. That's never going anywhere. We're just going to add bit alerts. The set of screams always going to be there. Hiki Miki Mori, are you making fun of me for saying let's rock and roll because I'm old? And that's a dad thing to say? I know. I know what you're doing. That's ageist, and I don't appreciate it. Um, before we get started, uh... Oh, good. Congratulations, Jane. That's awesome. Graduated. Coming out. Yay. Happy. Very happy for you. Happy Pride Month. Um, yeah, I hope everyone's staying safe during this time. Uh, I'll get started with the stream uh, in just a second. Um, but... Uh, Oh, good, Crisis. Happy for you. Um, nice holiday. Good, good, good. Um, uh, before we get started, um, I haven't posted anything about everything that's going on. Mainly because I just... I don't know. I feel like it's, it's kind of the same way. Like, obviously, I'll say trans rights, gays, uh, gay rights. But I feel like that's it's, it's just kind of a token thing. And me being, like, coming out here and, like, tweeting, like, Black Lives Matter. I feel like it's, like... Yay, Christian did it! I feel like it's about me and not really about the cause. So I kind of wanted to just... Before we go, um, something that I kind of... I was Because I've been doing a lot of thinking about it. And I think... Though... I mean, I don't have an answer for how we, we do anything. How we solve everything. But one thing that has struck me, and um, I feel like we've all, everyone's been a subject of bullying, you know, white, black, gay, straight, everyone's been subject of bullying. But one thing I can't say I ever have been a victim of, and I don't know a whole lot of my friends that have been, is being, a, at least having, like, kind of having that um, feeling of being assumed to be a criminal because of the color of my skin. Um... And that is something literally every black person I've ever talked to, they all have a story about it. And I'm talking rich one, you know, rich black people, poor black people, you know, people that went to Ivy League schools. It does not really matter. There's been a time where they've been assumed to be a criminal. And that's just something that I don't think... And I, I, you know, they all, everyone has one story of it, but many of them have many. And I don't know. I think that's a, I don't really know what to say about it, except I'll never know how that feels. And the best thing we can do is just the things I do in my own life. Never make any assumptions about race if you, if you hear someone saying, like, about a crime that's perpetuated and the perpetrator happens to be black, quickly shoot that down. It's about the person. It's not about the race. It's not making such huge, overarching things about it that perpetuates a stereotype. If there's, someone makes a racist joke, I always... My, my thing is, if it, the, this joke that I find offensive, my favorite way of dealing with that is instead of condemning and saying, that's not right, and like shaming them, not laughing, and like, that's, that's not cool. Just like that. Because, I mean, it makes them feel stupid, and it's not funny, and then it makes them not, like, defense up. It makes them give them that, like, oh, that joke sucked. I'm not going to do that. That's wrong, and I feel ashamed of myself. So the things I do in my life. I guess I really didn't have any answers in that entire thing. Um... I don't really don't think there is. I just think we all need to, when we see that injustice, speak up against it. 
when you hear someone make a comment about and you know of course the person was you know and I'd be like I don't I don't know what are you what are you implying and quickly just I feel like the more we weed that of our out of our system the the closer we can come to healing I mean, it really becomes uh, you know with a younger generation and everything so um yeah I don't think that helped at all <laughs> but it's, it's, it's just sad but um, that's what I do in my life and um, yeah hopefully hopefully one day it won't become an issue but it's gonna have to be us starting from the ground up it's not gonna be anything the government does there's not gonna be a law passed that's suddenly gonna make everything better because you still have resentment in people's hearts and we just have to work and just every time we see it we snuff it out right there it's like a disease and we can cure it each time we have these interactions with people and it comes from making people understand it doesn't come from condemning them and basically being like I took you off the friends list I've never been a big fan of that because whenever you do that you send them over to more like-minded racist people and then it festers if you ever have the opportunity to talk to someone like that don't unfriend them talk to them show them like you we have to assume people can change so don't think like oh don't worry i got rid of that racist because everyone else gets rid of those racists and then they all congregate together and then it's this entire hornet's nest where really you can heal them one by one and bring them into the fold yourself so that's probably the biggest thing don't label like oh you Support Trump. Racist. Talk to these people. We have to interact with them every day. It's much easier to, you know, you know, talk to them. Let, let's, let's try to get everyone on the same team. And if they don't listen to you right away, say that's fine. But just keep coming back. Keep hitting them with love. Keep hitting them with understanding. And you got to believe that people can change. You're not going to be able to get everyone, but... If you're able to turn three people, those people might turn three more people. So, anyway. God, stay on that thing. Okay. I agree. Uh, Bodhi SR, or Bode SR. Um, so, anyway. With all that, let's play this wee murder game. What do you say? For old time's sake. <laughs> In crisis, I understand that. That's just mine. All right. Well, we're on the trial. We got to do some stuff. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Oh, I didn't do Dark Dave a roll call. Well, I'm going to rectify that real quick. Oh, my gosh. We're up to $221. Well, guys. Well, my Dark Davas. We have the ones of all time. But for right now, let me give all of these new little Dark Davas their shout out. I think that's Allium Lad trying to be anonymous, but I found them. Ashley Nichols, Jane Bonbon, Crisis Code, Truth T F, Neon Fishy, Sally Necco for his baby sister, Pillow Dinos, Anon, and Clockwork Olive. Let us all do our best. And Nyutha. All right. For the Tanaka Empire! Oh, Sinister! Yeah, you're here! Also, um, every, uh, sub for this week, uh, dollar gets donated. I'm gonna get more than that, but just that's it. All right. Over done. Watch Voice of... 
for Yoma on title screen for hours. Uh. All right. Uh. <laughs> I hate you for that, all of you. All right, we're at trial. Oh, chapter four, save. Gosh, guys, also, my thighs for the Tanaka Empire! Fishy, fishy! Thank you, Clockwork, for gifting. Add him to the telly. All right. This is the first time going into the trial. Nothing's happened. I've never attempted any of these questions. This is all super fresh. <laughs> Voice of Ryoma stays on the title screen for hours. For a cause! <laughs> Alright. Well, I got no delusions about this. I'm not gonna die in this stream. That's enough. Because I don't have any. Hmm. Neon, that's a good idea. You and, um. Uh. Oh, can I set that? Ooh! I didn't know I had that. Hey! Triple X-ray goggles for our girl Mew! There's no doubt! Alright, here we go. As you know, we do it on Mean Mean. No! We're trying to heal the world, not make it worse. <clears throat> now then, let's begin with a basic explanation. Ah, screw it. This is tiresome. You need more motivation! I do. I really, really do. Now then... Let's start this class trial. Let's do it. Before we start, I just want to ask something since there's not a lot of us left. All right. What happens if the votes result in two first places? If we reach $3,000, I would spend a minute genuinely, not sarcastically, complimenting Mikan. <laughs> there's no way you're making 3000 But if you did... You mean like a tie? But yeah, we make it all right. Set goals, let's see. Three thousands me kind. Two thousand soda. Make well, what's for a thousand? Yeah, yeah. What no make, make something else for a thousand. It means they're both. Or I don't have to lacking. Um, as long as one of them is correct, it's Ooh, fine. a thousand soda, two thousand Kiyu. I like Daddy, that. So. Are you sure you should make a decision like that so casually? Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Thanks. Since that's answered, I can start enjoying this life or death game now. What game? How long are you going to keep saying that? Just ignore Kokichi. The rest of us need to work together to find the truth. Uh, Got it. We can't die here. 
here. Oh, Himiko. Oh, my. There it is. Himiko has become so determined. It's true. People really do change. But, yeah, oh. But now she's lost what made her so unique. Um, but, yeah, if we can have, like, somebody just kind of do an update throughout the thing, I don't know. I don't know how this works. Because I'm technologically dumb. Oh, here we go. We should focus on the class trial. First, we need to clarify. Kaito's the culprit. <laughs> what? Say that to my face. While we were all still logged in, Kaito logged out alone, right? You were able to move freely. Doesn't that mean you could have committed the murder? Don't screw around. There's no way I'm the culprit. Kaito right. Kaito couldn't have killed Mew. How long are you gonna keep saying that? Trusted people can still kill, you know. We already saw that a bunch of times. So many times. Since Kaede. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I also, whenever he does this, this is mine anytime like somebody like if I was like really bragging about something and someone just says the slightest negative thing about me, that's my thing. Like, oh God. what'd you say about me? You know I can dish it out, I just can't take it! logged out first by himself. Okay, she died at 6.30. And we were all in here. Alright, let's just go. Kaito culprit? Impossible! Hammer? Impossible! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it! I mean, we found that bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat. You're dead. The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me. That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Well, Kaito, any last words? What do you mean, last words? Maybe her corpse provides something. Kaito logged out first by himself. You was still logged out. Oh. That's when you poured his dirt. Kaito culprit? Wow, guys! <laughs> Alright! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it! I mean, we found that bottle of Oh, sorry, my um my mouth my mouse settings were off. The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me. That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Well, Kaito. What's aimbot? What do you mean, last words? Those are just warning shots. Okay. 
you was still alive. Mm -hmm. Kaito logged out first by himself. You was still there, though. That's when he would. Kaito. Golly! It's not me use corpse. Because he's got the the other one. Kaito logged out first by himself. You was still logged. Mm -hmm. That's when you poisoned him, right, Kaito? Kaito culprit? Impossible! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it! I mean, we found that oh. bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat, didn't we? The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me. I know it is. That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Well, Kaito. I'm gonna basically be like, hey. What do you mean, last word? Poisoned her. It could happen in the real world. Kaito logged out first by himself. You were still logged. Mm -hmm. Time for you. That's when you poisoned her. Eat shit. Kaito? No! I hit with a kill game second. Oh no! Why is this one so hard? Kaito logged out first by himself. You Oh no! Kaito logged out first by himself. You were still logged in though. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? Kaito! No, I, I just don't get the logic in this! Culprit? Impossible! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it! I mean, we found that bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat. On Kokichi's seat. The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me. That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Well, Kaito, any last words? What do you mean, last words? Kaito logged out first by himself. I feel like you were still logged in. She was still logged in. That's what But the hammer did Golly! Kaito culprit? Impossible! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it! I missed, I mean, right? We found that bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat, didn't we? The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me! I missed, right? That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Well, Kaito... Hammer didn't hit, right? What do you mean, last words? So, okay. Well, get ready, guys! Because that- Kaito logged out first by himself. You were still loving Those young black girl coders are watching like, That's what you can you please just stop? We don't let your money, you're so... You're so bad at this game! It's a fraud, they just personally give all the money back. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> Or they're like, we need more money so we can come up with a game that this guy can actually beat. Okay, second. Uh. <laughs> Kaito logged out first by himself. You was too. 
she was still like it. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? Kaito culprit? Impossible! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it! I mean, we found that bottle of poison on completely seat. The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me. That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Well, Kaito, any last words? What do you mean, last words? Kaito fell oh, first by himself. You Bingo. Oh, no, I did that one before! I was wrong! I know, buddy. Kaito I know. Out first by himself. You is still the. Damn it! Kaito logged out first by himself. You is still logged in, though. That's when you poisoned him. I don't understand this! And it can't- Alright, guys, I just need to say something. It can't be the thing. We found the bottle of poison on Kokichi C. I look at the bottle of poison. It was on Kokichi C. What do I do? Say, like, hammer at that? What's that do? What's that mean? That doesn't- That doesn't get it. Um. Okay. Okay, wait. I just... Let me think. Let me think. Alright. Kaito logged out first by himself. You was still logged in, though. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? Kaito culprit? Impossible! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it! I mean, we found that bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat, didn't we? The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me! That diversion was part Maybe of your plan, Kaido's right, Kaito? Well, Kaito, any last words? But that... What do you mean, last words? Kaito logged out first by himself. You was still alive. What's his account? open expression of agony on her face. Okay, wait, wait, but this says... Okay. Okay, so her eyes aren't bloodshot, right? If her eyes aren't bloodshot... God, I can't wait till I get... I've been on... The, I died at this one last time, too. Because he's saying we found the bottle of poison. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? Kaito culprit? Impossible! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it! I mean, we found that bottle of poison on Kokichi. We did! The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me. Okay, guys. That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Well, Kaito... Is it his poison thing? I just don't think it can be. Is that the thing I hit? Is it his statement? I need to. I. 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 
I'm at this. It's not Kaiders. Okay, cool. Cool. All right, good, good, good. Well, it's not the Monokuma file. It's not the killing game simulator. Hammer first. Kaito logged out first by himself. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? What? That's wrong. Yeah. I I just knew we weren't gonna finish. <laughs> Mew wasn't killed by poison, and the warning on the label proves it. Okay, guys. All right. I'm just getting some more ice for my drink. But we got this now. We got this. Drinking the poison would result in subconjunctival hemorrhaging. <laughs> subconjunctival. In other words, your eyes would be bloodshot. I'd like to be in the game so I could just be like every time he was like, that would cause subconjunctival hemorrhaging. It's just me, the ultimate frat boy. <laughs> And then I high five somebody. Who else is a jerk in this game? I high five them. <laughs> Chris, we're trying to figure out who the murderer is. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to be really effing cool. So we're both trying to do something good. Oh, but Mew's body. That's right. Her eyes weren't bloodshot. She wasn't killed by that poison. Then what was that poison for? Probably a diversion. The culprit wanted us to think Mew died by poison. Then, what was her real cause of death? I have a feeling that hammer's gonna come in. <laughs> hey guys, stop. Hammer time. I was wrong. You can take damage and die. All right, let's think here. The toilet paper. Um. Uh. Um. Uh. Let, let me think now. Hmm. All right. This was it. I don't either. God, the Latisse. I. What? What? What is this? I was wrong. Ooh. All right, let's think. Okay, Monica in the file. Cause of death. No, I didn't mean to hit that! I, I it, cause it's a different button. It, oh no! Alright guys, look, we're... One death. You get one, one up. Hey, don't F me in the chat. That, that, I, that, listen. Guys, don't oof me. I'm gonna get it right! <laughs> we can't let it end here! Stop RIPing me! I'm still here! Mew wasn't killed by po drinking the po in other words. That's right. The mo
I'm not dead. I'm gonna have to say the Monokuma file. I don't get it. Did I hit loud noise? Guys, I hit loud noise, right? Understand this. What's our cause of death? It's strangle. I hit the hammer. What was your cause of death? Are we gonna say the user error? Oh no! Wait, wait, I hit events at the chapel, right? This is it! Muse cause of death was the killing game simulator itself. The hammer! Inside the killing game. That's stupid. That's stupid. Not gonna accept that. Let's continue. In the virtual world, if your avatar takes fatal damage, your real body dies of shock. That was made clear in the program's text file. Miu received fatal damage in the virtual world and died from that shock. In that case, it's fair to say that the cause of death was actually the simulator. Um, Gunta has question. Where is this virtual world place? What floor is it on? If you don't understand, then don't say anything. Why if Miu was so killed dumb? in the virtual world, then the next thing we need to figure out is what caused her to incur fatal damage within the virtual world? Alright, so guys. The cause of death in the virtual world is the one that matters. I see some people talking about Sword Art Online. Everyone <laughs> say who their favorite Sword Art Online character is and why it's Yamakasi. Uh, um. Uh, it seems like Gonte is confused. So, why don't we review things a bit? Um, so we split into two groups to find the secret of the outside world. The ones who searched the mansion were me, Shuichi, Samugi, Gonta, and that NPC Kaito. <laughs> NPC. Hey, who you call an NPC, you ASS? Ooh, Kaito. And the others who searched the chapel were Keyboy, Maki, Himiko, and the late me. How could someone have given her fatal damage in that situation? That's what we gotta think about. Now, let's all work together. Aw, Himiko. Aw, little Himiko is all grown up. Too bad your chest hasn't grown up, though. That was uncalled for! 
someday my chest will grow like crazy. Let's begin then. Give me that effing hammer! In the virtual world, Mew was fatally injured. So let's focus our efforts on that first. Whoever did that to Mew was dropped right next to her avatar. It has to be the hammer! Yeah, I think so. We're going to beat her with his bare hands. No. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? I think so. I think strangulation is poor. Yeah, it's possible she was from a great height. Could she have drowned? In the virtual world, Mew was fatally injured. Uh, so let's focus our efforts on that first. I think I might have to go muck and did that to Mew. Was dropped right next to her avatar. It has to be the hammer! We're going to beat her with his bare hands. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? I think strong. It's possible she was pushed from a great height. God bless it. I miss. Could she have drowned? In the virtual world, Mew was fatally injured. So let's That'll be the last time white person. noise ever blocks me. Never did that to me. I'm gonna cut through it with, with my machine gun of justice. It has to be the hammer. We're going to beat her with his bare hands. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? I think strangulation is likely. I agree. Consent. Let's get out of here, Maki. Muck it! Roll! Mew's body showed severe trauma and signs of a struggle. Yeah, she looked like she suffered. Very hard to look at. Right. And the virtual world is connected to our five senses. If her body experienced pain, she must have been in pain in the virtual world as well. Knowing that, I believe Maki is correct. You were strangled to death. Blum, blum, blum. Yes, definitely. Strangling and poison are the only methods that can make her look like she suffocated. But we already removed the possibility of poison, so it can only be strangulation. Also, when a victim is poisoned, they commonly grab their chest or mouth. Oh. Thanks for that. But Mew was holding her throat. It's obvious she was trying to protect her windpipe. Oh. The Assassin Master gets really chatty when it comes to corpses. <laughs> oh, ooh, death stare. In that case, her exact cause of death is being strangled in the virtual world. But is strangulation even possible in the virtual world? If the avatars were equally strong, it would be difficult to strangle a resisting victim. Hmm. Yeah, if she was just as strong as them, no way they could have strangled her. Then the culprit would need a tool. There are tons of cases where a weaker person would strangle a stronger person with a rope. Wow, you know a lot about killing, nerd. Was there even a rope in that world? I don't remember seeing one. Oh yeah, my sheets are in the wash. That's why my bed looks. Then they must have used something else as a rope. For the Tanaka Empire! Oh, Clocky! Oh my gosh. Is it toilet paper? 
this is it. Oh man, being strangled with toilet paper. During the investigation, we found toilet paper outside the mansion. And thank you for seven months, clockwork. Seven wonderful months. I'm guessing that the toilet paper was used to strangle her. Just don't tell no can ignore that. Oh my gosh, guys! Don't! What you mean, Shuichi? Huh? What's wrong? What wrong? Shuichi goofing off. Not gentlemanly at all. Oh wow. No time for nonsense! Hmm. No can use toilet paper in place of rope! <laughs> Would tear too easy! Even Gonta know that, and Gonta not smart! No, I'm positive toilet paper was used instead of rope. You died such an awful death. So why you not take this seriously? Call yourself ultimate detective? Use your head! Figure out real murder weapon! You died such an awful death. So why you not take this seriously? You call yourself ultimate detective? Use your head! Figure out real murder weapon! No, I'm positive toilet paper was used instead of rope. There's no time for nonsense! Let's go back to the first one. You know can use toilet paper in place of rope! Oh, I'm as soon as it's used in the first one. Would tear too easy! I'll cut through your words! And your face, goats! The toilet paper wouldn't tear. Because in the virtual world, objects are unbreakable. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Edgar. <laughs> You're so dumb, Gonta. You didn't even know that? If objects can't break in that world, then toilet paper shouldn't be able to tear. And since it couldn't tear, it could be used as a rope. Gonta not really understand, but... Sorry, Shuichi. Gonta was wrong. Just, uh... It's okay, Gonta. Don't worry about it. Just stick with your little bugs. Killed by toilet paper. It was... a fitting end for her. A fitting end? I do not fully understand that logic. She was crappy with her attitude, guys. But if guys. Mew was killed near the chapel, why was the murder weapon by the mansion? Mention. Maybe the Mention. culprit tried to get rid of it to destroy the evidence. Oh, where are we at? Oh, if you're joining us, we are doing a charity stream. Um, for uh, Black Girls Code. Uh, if we can get the link up. If toilet paper was the murder weapon, then oh, what's the deal on. with the hammer next to her? Perhaps the culprit prepared a backup weapon, just in case. No, the culprit didn't bring the hammer. No? But who else but the culprit would bring a hammer? Mew. She's the one that allowed it. Mew was the one who brought the hammer. Mew bring hammer? Remember what she told us? I'm on a streak, you guys. I'm on a streak. Yeah, she did say she deleted any dangerous objects. If that were true, she wouldn't have missed something like a hammer. Meaning that Mew must have left it on purpose. Oh 
on purpose? But why she do that? Let's assume that Mew brought the hammer. What was she planning to do with it? Maybe use it to break down a wall? Uses for a hammer. Going to know Mew gonna build stuff with hammer. Do it yourself, Project. She probably just brought it for self-defense. Or she secretly met up with someone and tried oh. to kill them with it. Let's assume that Mew brought the hammer. What was she planning to do with it? Maybe use it to break down a wall? Uses for a hammer. Go to... I know what she was going to do. Okay. Non-human objects. She was, um... She was gonna go through on that end. And, um... Take the hammer with her and then hit Gokichi. Oh no, Mew gonna build stuff! Hammer! Probably just brought it for self-defense. Or she secretly met up with Or that And meeting? tried to kill them with it! You idiot, she was the victim! Yeah. I was wrong! Okay, I just wanted to try that one. Let's assume that Mew brought the hammer. Oh, thank you, Clockwork. What was she planning to do with it? Maybe use it to break down a wall? Uses for a hammer. Go to know who's gonna build stuff with hammer. She probably just brought it for self-defense. Or she secretly met up with someone. And tried oh, to kill shit. them with it. I hit him with the wrong thing. You idiot, she was the victim! No, I'm the idiot. Okay, hit the blow. Let's assume that Mew brought the hammer. What was she planning to do with it? I was just, I was... Maybe use it to break down a wall? Uses for a hammer. Going to know Mew gonna build stuff with hammer! She probably mm -hmm. just brought it for self-defense. Or she secretly... <laughs> and tried to kill them with it. You idiot, she was the victim! Fine! Let's assume that Mew brought the hammer. What was she planning to do with it? I can't do anything about Maybe white Maybe use it to break down a wall? Uses for a hammer. Fine, I'll hit it when it comes Go out. Go to know, Mew gonna I know build it's gonna stuff be with hammer. She probably just brought it for self-defense. I'm watching. Or secret. Yeah! Consent! Mew was gonna meet up with someone in the virtual world. Alright, guys, we're, I'm gonna take a little tiny break and then we'll come back. Let's do it. 
Hi uh, guys, if you are just joining us, it's a charity stream for um, Black Girls Code. And uh, yeah, let's see where we're at. We'll be doing this again on Thursday. Oh my god! Nyuthal! Oh my gosh! My darling daughter just donated! Thank you so much. We are at, guys, we're at $381. We've only been doing this two hours. Wow, thank you. Thank you. That's so awesome of y'all. I love y'all. Um, cool. All right, well, let's, uh. Wow, thank you so much. And that's a. Nice. Thank you so much, Nyuthal. You and Jay make me so proud. All of you make me proud. I love you all. Alright. Anyway, yeah. Um, but also, Agers, we were always a bounty somehow straight. It's the quicker picker upper. Ho ho ho. Bounty. Ba da ba ba ba. Bounty paper towels. Mm-hmm. With me. I was supposed to meet up with Mew on the roof of the mansion. What? Is that true? I overheard them talking about it at the chapel. By the way, Mew asked to meet up with me before we went into the virtual world. Make it great. Bounty paper towels. I totally forgot where we were supposed to meet, so good thing Keyboy spied on us. Wait, so Mew called Kokichi out? If Mew brought the hammer, I wonder what she was planning to do with it. Yeah. That's it! Oh my god, I can't believe Miyu was gonna kill somebody. She though. was trying to kill Kokichi. She was what? Yep, she plotted to meet up with me and then kill me with the hammer. If you want to prove this, you'll need to figure out Miyu's plan, okay? Miyu could have only been strangled by Bounty, because that's the only thing strong enough. Just to kill someone with Qual a high quality paper towel. Oh, that's right. Wait, she was, she was, uh, um, she was free shit, freaked out by the flashback light. Hmm. Yeah, aim for the king. That's not miss. Ooh, guys! I forgot how to drive there for a second. Guys, you see me pass these cars? That's pretty cool. And I hit two of them, and watch me go between them. I call that split in the lane. Just call me Lane Split and T. What? Ready to watch me hit Dose? So. So cool. Can I get Tress? Or Oon? I just need to. Get in, girl. 
My father always told me, one escort is nice. No, the other, no, the only thing better than one escort is three escorts. That funny tell me. It's good like the guy that enjoy paying for money. It's nothing to say to your son. Leave me alone. I'm trying to play this weed murder king. Can't have flashbacks of my horrible childhood. Edric. Why are you so well balanced? Like your favorite breakfast! Get in, girl! This is really easy. I thought we, we literally just said all these things. Pass through the center, pass through the center of love. Pass through the center, pass through the center, pass through the center of love. Oh my, whoa! Dude, you see me do that? That was nuts, guys! I'm good at stuff! Like all my swerving. God, wait! Get that way! <laughs> they call me Drifty T. <laughs> hey, there's moves! Why'd she offer me alcohol at a time like this? Why is moves everywhere? Is that because we saw her in the Love Hotel and that's what's canon in our game? I don't know. My glow sticks have look really cool. Got it. She wanted it to appear as if Kokichi was killed in the real world. She placed the poison on my seat to make us think the murder happened in the real world. She did that too? What? Miu was the one who put that poison bottle there? No, that ain't right. Something's definitely weird about that. When could Mew have put the poison there? If she did place the poison without us noticing, then she must have logged oh, all the shit. And then what? Log back in. Yeah. Kokichi, weren't you in the salon around that time? Did you see her log in or log out at all? Nope, I didn't see that at all. If she hadn't logged in or out, then you can't place the poison. Then who put poison bottle? The only person who logged out early was Kaito. I don't want to agree with that. Kaito, your grave just got 10 feet deeper. No, it wasn't me, guys. When could you have put the poison there? Oh, me, you could have put, put the poison there. She logged in last. And it took her two minutes. 
If she did place the present without us noticing, then she must have logged out. And then what? Log back in? Kokichi, weren't you in the salon around that time? Did you see her log in or log out at all? Nope, I didn't see that at all. If she hadn't mm. logged in or out, then you put poison. poison. Oh shoot! Then who put poison bottle? The only person who logged out early was Kaito. Kaito, your grave just got ten feet deeper. No, it wasn't me, guys. When could Mew have put the poison there? If she did place the poison without us noticing, then she must have logged out at some point. And then what? Log back in? Kokichi, weren't you in the salon around that time? Did you see her log in or log out at all? Nope, I didn't see that at all. If she hadn't logged in or out, yeah! That's wrong. V for Victor T! It was Mew who planted the poison on Kokichi's chair. So she that's had plenty wrong. of time to do it. Here, take a look at this. I will. Is this a record of who went in and out of the virtual world? That's right. It says that Mew was the last Victor of us T. to log in. Yeah, what about it? See you, Cuckoo. If she logged in last, she would have had time to move around in the real world after the previous person logged in. That right. She could have placed Poison Bottle on Kokiji's seat. This was all part of Mew's plan. She tried to kill me in the virtual world, make us think it happened in the real world, then pin the crime on Kaito. Well, that's not my fault. Which is why she manually logged you out, just for that purpose. Okay, so she did that to me? Oh, wow, that's messed up. Yes, I'm positive of that. Mew used a method only she could use to log Kaito out manually. Set his name into a phone. Cell phone. This is it! It was the cell phone found by Mew's avatar. Oh, she does have three That cell phone worked the same way as the phone in the salon. It logs users in and out. I verified this myself when I spoke Kaito's name into it. With that cell phone, she could force anyone to log out at any time. But Mew never mentioned a cell phone, right? That's what Shuichi referred to when he mentioned a method only she could use. She kept the cell phone a secret on purpose, so she could use it for the murder. So, she really was planning a murder. And she tried to set me up. Well, I knew that from the start. Then why did you say I was the culprit? Because I wanted to get it through your thick skull. People you trust and defend will ultimately betray you. This is a game of suspicion. Hmm. But... Well, I think your ideal should stay the same. Because phonies like you... Or what make the game more interesting? I mean, I feel like it's gotta be Kokichi, though. Like, it's gotta be Kokichi. Like, there's no way it's not Kokichi. Um. Like, how? Don't you agree, Monokuma? Are you gonna buddy up and hang out with Monokuma?
Hmm? Do I? I don't know about that. Huh? Oh, wait. What were we talking about? Dude, drink a Diet Coke. I wonder when Daddy's gonna get his motivation back. Yeah! If Father keeps slacking off, all the work is gonna get forced onto Mommy. He's gonna die. What's wrong, Monotaro? Pull yourself together! He's gonna throw himself out. Uh, Anywho, it's a blessing in disguise that Mew died and not me. What you mean? Because she wouldn't have said anything about what really happened in the virtual world. You guys would have had a way harder time finding the culprit, you know. She would have been able to lie about the virtual world settings as much as she wanted. And you'd never know that the murder actually took place in the virtual world. So that's why she decided to attempt the murder. Because she had total control. Then the reason Mew was so insistent we go into the virtual world was... go there so she could kill us what a shady person very true Himiko. i was sad that she was gone but now i don't know what to think <laughs> nice <laughs> backstabbed by a trusted friend see that's an ideal fun situation now we can start a real class trial hey kokichi sort of sound like Monokuma. Give him the bits, business, Gonta. Hmm? Really? I don't sound anything like him. No. You're just like Monokuma. Both of you are cowards. You never speak the truth or Ooh, show your of. true face. Wait, coward? You say some interesting things sometimes, Kaito. Smiling, putting on a mask, never saying what you really think. That kind of cowardice is just like Monokuma! Daddy, they're calling you a coward! Aren't you gonna do something? Yeah, yeah, I just gotta do my signature laugh, right? Hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> there, I did it. He's completely lost his drive! Like a one-hit wonder who oh blooms to their former fame! These side things. I mean, this is yeah. very shades of... My head! Monami. Listen up, Kokichi! To hell with this game of suspicion crap! I will never be okay with it! Yeah. I'm just gonna believe in everyone! Instead of suspecting my friends, I'm gonna find the truth by believing in them! You gotta believe! Well... If you think you can win this game like that, then sure, be my guest. Of course I can. I don't need your permission. How long are you guys going to argue? Let's hurry this up and continue. If we don't find the culprit, then we'll all die, you know that? Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. If we are going to begin searching for the culprit, let's start with Kokichi's story. Huh? My story? You were meeting with Mio, but she ended up as the victim. So it's only natural for us to think you're the killer, right? Here's my answer. I never met up with Mio. Hmm. Didn't? You didn't? I tried to go to the roof to meet up with her, but the door was locked. But isn't lock picking your specialty? You should have been able to open it easy. But in the virtual world, you guys are little. I couldn't pick locks with my avatar body. I didn't have the tools for it either. You remember how Hebe could really like her I never went to the body? Roof, not even for the meeting. Really cute. I remember. 
remember? You and Gunta went off together when we first started looking. But was the door to the roof actually locked? When I was on the roof before logging out, the door wasn't locked. Huh? How should I know? Then who locks the door to the roof? I already told you! How should I know? When I went to the roof, it wasn't locked. So you gotta be lying. What good would it be if I lied? I don't want to die either, you know. Lying would do you a lot of good if you're the culprit. That's right, Himiko. Oh, mm -hmm, I see. I didn't realize it's that. It's gotta be him this time. What kind of response is that? That's suspicious as hell! Wait, there's no point in arguing about that now. The truth will come out eventually. Before we get to that, we need to discover the truth behind Mew's death. Truth? There were mysterious circumstances surrounding her death. We need to make sense of those first. Wow, Shuichi, you know your way around this game. Yes, keep up the hard work. The fate of our lives rests in your hands. So, what is this strange circumstance? Kokichi claims it was Mew who chose the meeting place. But I'm wondering how she got from the chapel to the mansion's roof. I see. Mew sent the bridge connecting the mansion and chapel into the river herself. Hmm. If that's the case, then Mew might not have even gone to the roof. Huh? So she stood me up? It's very rude to break a promise. The Latisse that was near her! The Lattice! Show me the Lattice! Mew was waiting for me to arrive. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No, Mew should have... Been at the chapel. Let's move. Right next to the chapel. How would she have gotten to the mansion? There was no bridge over the river. A bridge would be the only way to get across. So, her meeting with Kokichi... She stood me up! <laughs> Kokichi. Mew was waiting for me to arrive. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No. Mew should have been at the chapel. Oh, golly! Look at where her avatar fell. It's right next to the chapel. How would she have gotten uh, to the mansion? Man, my, uh, my there aim is no bridge off. over the river. A bridge would be the only way to get across. So, her meeting with Kokichi. She stood me up! Here we go. Mew was waiting for me to arrive. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No. no. <laughs> Got it! That's wrong! That's wrong, Himiko! And I get your hat! Mew must have gone to the mansion. We have a witness. Yeah. When so I was searching the dining room, I saw Mew pass by the window. Man. Just mistaken at first. Since there was no way she could have come to the mansion. But I guess I wasn't mistaken after all. That was definitely me. Then how did she get to the mansion from the chapel? It must have been some special method only you knew. 
Like with that cell phone. I know what it was. There's no doubt about that. That's why she dropped the bridge. Oh yeah, uh, Neon just posted, if you're joining us, that we're doing a charity stream for Black Girls Code. Great organization, do your research on it if you'd like. Um, and yeah, we're trying to get a thousand dollars, and where are we at with that? If a murder occurred when it was impossible to cross the river, she wouldn't be implicated. She used a secret method to move from the chapel to the mansion for the murder. She dropped the bridge to make a huge scene just to let everyone know it's no longer there. So, oh. what did she use? Won't be that easy 400? Oh so my gosh, guys! Awesome! We're doing it again on Thursday. No worries, guys. As long as we leave it to Shuichi, everything will be A OK. -okay. Thank you, Sublime. I think I saw. Uh... What Thank are you, you saying? Sublime. You can't I, just I saw Gold Street all too. the time. This class trial's for all of us. We're here to solve this together. Uh oh, he's not deferring to Shuichi. <laughs> you would just slow down Shuichi. Shut up! Give me that Y thing. The way across it only you knew about. And then I'm gonna show you the way. Or instead of bridge. How you remember X and Y axis. Vehicle to go over. Or maybe she teleported it mad. That shit. Or she used a warp zone. Maybe there's a place you could cross without a bridge. A hidden route that only people used to get across. I agree! I agree. Consent. Wow. That's it, Kibo. There was a hidden route only Mew could use. There was, and now you get to know how to tell the difference between X and Y axis. Because X is across and Y goes up. And you can remember that because the Y, the Y axis that goes up, think about that long part in the Y, the thing that goes up and down. You learned something. You didn't think you were. You thought, I'm just going to have a good old time. No more teachers, no more books. Blah, 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 dirty looks. But you came here and got some quality edutainment. You're welcome. Welcome. That's right, guys. All right, let's get back to the game. Stick around. You might learn something. Hmm? Was there really? Mew modified the program to add a special wall to the world. The wall stretches along the y-axis, but we found two that. such walls in the virtual world. It's unclear whether Mew added the wall by the mansion or the wall near the chapel. That'll be next stream. New, more math tips next stream. Oh, if you want to know the order of operations, it's please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, otherwise known as PIMDOS. Parentheses. Exponents. Yeah, the exponents. Multiplication and division. Addition and subtraction. But you can see me and he's teaching you. Also, what's the other thing? Kings play cards on fat green stools. K 
Kingdom, Phylum, Class, Order. Phylum. Genus species. There we go. We do know that that wall was set so that only objects could pass Don't through. Don't be naive, Shuichi. What? Kaido! Huh? That's so weird that happened, because I was it, like... Kaido? I was really thinking it was like... Interjecting, I thought it was like somebody from the chat like... No more math! That's right, Chris. I came here for weed murder game. I'm not gonna have you mathing it up. And then with the draw swords. Jeez, can you set up a weird wall like that? That is suspicious, but it's got nothing to do with what we were talking about. Okay. Also, nothing a character can't it. die until they have a rebuttal showdown. Um. So this does not bode well. Moogs won't die. But uh, Kaido could. This could be his last hurrah. This is his last hurrah. Okay. Alright. Angie never had a rebuttal to though. Who's Angie? Yes, yeah, she did. Remember she she came in, she says. Not on the two as much! And I was like, what? Huh. You don't even realize your mistake? Are you losing your edge? Oh well, my sidekick's mistakes are my mistakes. I'll make it right. Well, somebody has to die first. But if you, if you make it, because Ryoma did his really quickly. He came in and he was all like, no way, bitch. <laughs> I was like, whoa, man. That's... Come on, Ryoma. Class it up. Oh no, that would have been against Kaede! I thought. Oh no. What we gotta figure out is how Mew got from the chapel to the mansion, right? So why waste time talking about the impossible? It's pointless. We gotta take a whole new approach here. Now wait just a second. It's not actually impossible at all. But you just said so, didn't you? That wall Mew set up only lets non-human objects go through. Humans aren't able to pass through. So Mew obviously wouldn't be able to go through that wall. She's not just an object after all. Oh, that's right. I was wrong. Oh, oh never mind. But you just said so, didn't you? Ooh. That wall Mew set up only lets non-human objects go through. Humans aren't able to pass through. So Mew obviously wouldn't be able to go through that wall. She's not just an object after all. I'll cut through your words. And your face, you stupid Kaido. The wall no, that's wrong. Mew is an object. Changed. She also changed her avatar settings from human to object. That's so really apt with her. Object? Somebody make a joke. Which means the virtual world treated Come on, Kokichi, this is a... She could have passed through a wall that only non-humans could go through. Come on, buddy, this is being served up to you. Is that right? Don't get ahead of yourself, Kaito. We need to listen to everything Shuichi says. Whoa, we're just gonna leave money on the table with the object thing and it be a meal? Not a DR4. All jokes will be made. That's my solemn view <laughs> promise to you, the viewer. I already Red told you. The more you try, the more you cause us trouble. It's so totally lame that your own sidekick is dissing you. Oh god, he gets Monaco. Kokichi, enough. I wasn't arguing with him. I was just explaining. I don't care. That doesn't bother me at all. Kind of seems like it does bother you. Kind of, kind of being a little. 
It just means even I make mistakes. Don't worry about it, Shuichi. Okay. Why do we get the poo poo song? <laughs> it's pretty funny seeing Kaito try to act all tough like this. Kokichi, please refrain from making such irrelevant and irrational remarks. I wish you were the killer. So, if Mew messed with the program and made a wall only she could go through. Okay, if we if we if we're doing who the killer is. It's got to be one of three people. Easy money's on Kokichi. This is just like the time where we just kind of go, he's just like, I'm evil, but you can't prove it. And then we, um, <laughs> and then we, uh, uh, so we just have to go hard at him. It could be Kaido, because he was like, I figured something out, and then I did this, and blah, 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 I'm sorry. One of these, like, I'm sorry things. Or it could be Maki that figured something out, and she, like, defended Kokichi because he's like a kid, and she defends kids. So that. That's like the dark horse. For the Tanaka Empire! Ghost Cat, thank you for the subscription! And a dollar of every subscription goes, gets tacked onto my donation. Boop. Thank you so much. So anyway, that's, that's my thoughts. Then her secret route was through that wall? That's it, right? Welcome, Ghost Cat. Like I using a glitch so. in a game to walk outside the map. I bet Mew had a hidden passage like that in the back of the chapel. But even if she could walk through walls, was there really a hidden passage? Because Mew said... Mew said... <laughs> Man, I'd be so cool mocking everybody like, trying to get things done. But, me, but Mew said... <laughs> you like Mia so much, why don't you marry her in hell? <laughs> she probably lied. There would be no point in going if there was nothing on the other side. You lied. Hmm. Oh, if anyone hears from the South, since we're talking about Satan and marriages, some people, I, I, I'm in Los Angeles, but there's an old, and you can look it up. I'm, you, it's not going to be like, Chris, there's no way to verify this. It sounds awful. But who here grew up and had like their, their like older people say, like when it was raining outside, it was sunny outside and it was raining, that meant the devil was beating his wife. Did anyone grow up with that? I wonder what the truth is. There's no way to find out now. Crisis has heard yeah, that. Okay. Soaked, you're Holiday, yeah. totally lying about there being nothing past the wall. Other people, it, it's so funny because people are like, "What the hell? The devil's beating his wife." First off, I didn't know the devil's married. It's not good that he's beating his wife. And why does that mean the sun's out? Uh, a month. Oh, in the Caribbean, we call it a monkey's wedding. That's right. Um. There's a lot of different, you go through, there's a lot of different things. She lived a life of pro Oh, whoa. That? Oh my god. Kokichi. Pride, vulgarity, and secrets. Lying would be a piece of cake for her. Kokichi. You know have to go that far. Oh wow, Ghoul Treats, thank you so much. Um Ghoul Treats has offered to do commissions to people who donate at least twenty dollars, up to ten commissions in total. So if you want to get it, just DM hello the receipt on Discord and the character you want. Wow! That's awesome. Fox's wedding in Japan. God bowling. God Bowling and Fox's Wedding are much better than mine. Stop awesome, it! Awesome, that's very... Don't bad mouth mommy! That's awesome, Ghoul Treats, thank you. Uh, Mama Tara? Listen to you, talking about Mommy. But she was a terrible lying whore. But Mommy wasn't lying. There was...
was no hidden route in that virtual world. Oh, oh, there wasn't, huh? Hey! You can't tell them such an important hint! Oh, if you see that hint is important, then I guess it must be true. Oh, shoot! Ah, jeez. You're lucky you're cute. So now that we know there's no hidden route, why did she manipulate the program? <sighs> if there's actually nothing past the wall, <laughs> then that setting was meaningless. Mimi wouldn't have done something meaningless. She would have had a plan. Yes. Mew definitely wanted to be able to go through that wall for a reason. One time when I was in high school, we were watching Hunt for Red October, and our teacher was like, we, we were kind of talking or something, and he's like, oh, wait, wait, y'all missed it, you missed it. And then anyway, we were like, what? And it's like, we, we thought we were paying attention. We were like, no, we were watching it. And then anyway, it goes back, we made us rewind it. We were watching on a v, VHF, yeah, old. Um, and then we rewound it. And then anyway, it was something that's like, do you think the Russians are up to it or like something like that? And one of the people said, Russians don't take a dump without a plan. And he laughed really loud, and that, all, all of us were like, I guess it's kind of funny. Not worth going back to the line. And then later on, you'll tell your kid. So I was watching Chris's stream one time, and he took a long time to tell this story that didn't really go anywhere, nor was it that funny. And, they'll, and then they'll tell their kids about the time their parent told them the story about this streamer they were watching, talking. Okay, all right, let's get back to it. We aren't sure why yet, but once we solve the mystery of the virtual world... Mystery of virtual world? Golly, you know what it is! Stop playing like you're an idiot. There have been a lot of strange occurrences in the virtual world. Just like life. If we can determine why, we will also determine what Mew was up to. We'll know why she wanted to pass through the wall. All right, let's clear up those strange occurrences. Yeah, Just like life. Gonta will help, even though Gonta not know what you're talking about. Speaking of strange occurrences, Just I'm like just plain worried life. about that one thing. Uh, Remember uh, uh, that uh, thing that made us notice all the strange occurrences? Like life. sound that you and I heard in the kitchen? <laughs> when, when we were smooshing? That's right. Me and Moog smooch in the kitchen in the virtual world. How do you like sweets now? Oh, the avatars. I would play a dog and Rampa game in this. Mm -hmm. You all heard that sound too? Yes, in the mansion's kitchen. But that sound occurred near the chapel. How did you hear it all the way at the mansion? First off, sound can't go past the map loading point. Did that sound really come from the chapel? That sound was something hitting the chapel wall. It was real loud. And we definitely heard it. We heard Kibo's voice as well. S 
Smoochie in the kitchen while Smoochie keeps trying to bring up her step sibling fantasy and Smoochie keeps ignoring it. to be some kind of clue to the mystery of the virtual world. Okay, well, let's check the answers later and try to find all the other clues first. There was another mysterious phenomenon in the virtual world, wasn't there? Was it the movie phenomenon with John Travolta? <laughs> Kokichi talked like he His knows jokes something. jokes are free. Pretending Joy not to know. One day you... Even Gonta is suspicious of me? I always thought you would be the one to trust me! Sorry, Gonta not mean it like that. There's no need to apologize to him. He's probably just lying again. What was the other strange occurrence? Did you see it, Shuichi? What was it? Hmm. What was the other strange occurrence? Oh, that was life. Uh, Himiko. Hmm. Ooh, chicken tindies followed me. Hey, come straight from the oven. Wow, that was a big un. They call them big un T. Oh my god. There we go. Yahtzee. God, am I gonna lose this game? I thought it had this like x-ray vision thing. Guys, I listen, I got kinda. We can't let I'm not letting it in. Look at that. 
God, how do I click on it? Oh! That's what the darkened blocks are for! Well, how come I can't click on that? Do I have to uncover all of them? I thought I selected the right one. All right, it's time to show them the Milky Way. Look at me crushing that one. I did that last time! The sign that we were using as a bridge was odd to me. I, I, uh, I missed a block. You missed a block last time. You all are blockheads. Ha! Got him, Chris. You didn't die. They did. Odd how? Just like Odd World. We mentioned it before, but Mew dropped the sign in the river. Some guy, no! Uh, I got JC the arts thing. Taking that some guy's later, place. But there was something unnatural about it. Well, <laughs> guys, come on. Come on. I was just having a tipper tantrum. And you gotta tolerate it. Why, right, Chris? Because I'm your friend. And when I stamp my feet, you just go, whoa, oh, Chris. Weird. Just like science. <laughs> Holy crap. Two psych taxis before the intermission. <laughs> All right, guys. Ooh, they moved now. You ready for Turk the Affair Adrift? Your hero? The last... Oh, gosh! I was adjusting the mic. Oh, the letters are moving, guys. This is a lot of... It's a lot of skill. Watch this guy. That car came close. Chris. Expert drop. Oh my gosh! That's not fair. The loud noise. might be mean mode, but you haven't seen mean T. Oh gosh, you haven't seen mean T. What is that? I just stopped? That doesn't do any good. Oh, I see. I, I can adjust myself, God. Now I got it. Just so I can hit more. enjoy watching this just because it's, it's good. Wait. Oh. oh no! Dead hooker!
Dude, that was graphic as shit. I've never, like, killed anyone. Oh my god! I like the blood splatters on the screen. Inside. Get in, girl. You ain't dying. No more deaths. Oh, wait. I'm still going? Wait, wait, wait. I, I can't. I've got three hookers with me. There's nothing else to do. Where's she gonna sit? Oh, I know where she gonna sit. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Hey girl, all the open seats are taken, but I have one. <laughs> I got one more place you can go. It might impair my drive a little bit, but nobody seems to mind. So girl, why don't you? <laughs> why don't you? One more place. On my face! Oh, the middle seat in the back. That's another place you can sit. I mean, listen, I, there, there are two places you can sit. I, I, that, that's made for sense. But I, I think, I just... The seat, the seat belt, and the middle seats like it's it's crushed between, so you don't have it. And I just want you to be safe. So, anyway. Got. It appeared as though the sign was carried against the river's current. We all saw Mew drop the sign and watched the river carry it downstream. And the river was wide there. The sign should have traveled downriver toward the chapel, correct? It should have hit the wall on the far side of the chapel and stopped there. But that's not where we found it. We found it near the mansion, nestled in some rocks. Are these guys just figuring out that probably the wall goes from the east side? The signboard should have been near the chapel, but we found it on the other side. Hold up. Didn't you stay on the chapel side? She probably grabbed the signboard from the chapel wall to cross the river. Then left it on the boulders near the mansion so she could get back. Why would she leave the signboard where it could get swept away and leave her stranded? Also, this has nothing to do with walking through the wall, right? We're getting off topic. We're so close to the truth. We just have to connect the how and what. All the mysterious things that happened have to connect with each other somehow. Connect how? A wall only objects can pass through. 
Sounds that shouldn't be heard. A signboard going against the river current. How are they all connected? God, we are, we are going to take our last break. Guys, we are back. Let's check on our sh thing. We're up to 476. Thank you, Cat Lee. Truth, thank you. Clocky! And Sinister Phoenix, thank you all so much! It's so cool. And this is a smaller charity, so your dollars really are helping. You don't know which young girl color might be programming your next game. Probably a really sick game, because it's going to be in the future. Not like this crap we have now. <laughs> like this. <laughs> they're watching it. They're just disgusted with it. The characters aren't even moving. Yeah, I know. I know. They're just sprites. <laughs> um, okay. But anyway, uh... Yeah, good... Great stuff. Okay, let's continue. Let's get to the intermission. <laughs> I don't know, but Shuichi should know, right? What? We would be in a lot of trouble if you didn't. The only one who can solve this mystery and save us all is you. Me? Oh, he's just wilding up Kaido yeah. to make a mistake. How are they connected? Do you know Shuichi? Ah, well, what we know so far is that... You. The unnatural way the sign was carried is possibly related to the wall. <laughs> we need someone to figure it out. Can you? Oh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm the police, so I, I, can't, I guess we'll give it a shot. <laughs> Wait, what? The? can pass through. The sign should have stopped at the wall on the other side of the chapel. But if that wall happened to be the one that you set to allow objects through... I see. It's a wall only non-humans can pass through. That means the signboard can pass through the wall, right? Even if it could pass through the chapel wall, how did it end up by the mansion? Do the you thing where you can connect us all the like this with wall was a warp zone. But it's not, right? No, you're right. You're right, actually, Hugo. To me, Shuichi. I, your partner. Why does he get the Monokuma? Uh, then. This is the virtual world. We should throw away all of our common sense, okay? Huh? The hell does that even mean? an android. I swear I was only objectifying women just so they could pass through the wall. Hey, sweet thing! Come on. Go through this now. I'm 
sorry. You are my possession. Go, go. I'll apologize later. Property of T. Your last chance go to the wall. My object. And my love. were connected. Jane, you got connected? Huh? But Jane, you're Both so young. Both of river connected? <laughs> exactly. To put it another way, the river isn't cut off at the wall near the chapel. It's all part of one big loop. The upstream part of the river is connected to it. What? What are you talking about? Both ends of the river can't... Again, throw out all common sense from your head. We're talking about the virtual world. In ten minutes, that, that's cool. Huh? And what about the wall? There was only one wall that could be passed through. Telephone shrinkians? Right. Even if the river's connected and it goes through the chapel wall, it wouldn't have been able to go through the mansion wall, too. Set up one wall. What are you talking you're about? You're gonna clue now? me in on it, bro, because I'm you. It's the same the wall. The chapel and the mansion aren't separate. They're the same wall. The same wall. It's not just the river. The walls themselves are connected. Don't think of it as two separate walls but a single wall parallel to the y-axis. That single wall divides the entire virtual world. The idea is, you pass through the wall by the chapel and come out by the mansion. <laughs> Everything is starting to connect. Wow, man. Leo had a murder. See, didn't I tell you? Everything is connected. Like stereo MCs. Damn it, Kokichi. Just tell us. Shh, it's okay. More importantly, this is the final stretch. If both the river and wall are connected, then you can find the secret. Wait, th this trial has an intermission, right? Okay, cool. So he's, he's just like... Shuichi, you already know the secret behind the virtual world, right? That's right. I know the secret. Put up our vision board. Oh 
W. Yeah, world. W O R L. Worlds. Give me an O, girl. Rap. Gimme demos. Gimme demos. Gimme them peas. Gimme the pee pee. Now for that stinky ass. World loop. This what are you eating? Are this fruit loops? No. No food. Yes, loops. that's it. The virtual world is a loop. Loop. Just like in old games, right? Like, for example, when a character goes off the left side of the screen and reappears on the right. Guys, I think this, I think Moogs play video games. Oh man, what a nerd, am I right? It's just so geeky. A girl playing video games? Huh. But she also wears glasses. Yes, exactly. The edges of the virtual world are linked together in a continuous loop. The virtual world loops? What in the world? If that's true, it would explain the way the signboard was swept away. It vanished into the wall downstream of the river, came out of that same wall upstream, Crisis, we only need one gamer girl. The boobie. And floated with the currents until it got caught on the rocks. What was the world like before Mew added the wall? Actually, there wasn't a wall on the Y axis at all, and the X axis was set to loop. Are you serious? Even if it is a computer program, isn't that too crazy? A looping world. I agree That's off more extraordinary than even magic. But at least it's not a boring answer. It also explains all the things that happen. Huh? It doesn't explain everything, does it? Because we still don't know why we heard that one sound or Kibo's voice. Toppy top. Well, yeah, sound to doesn't go past the nap loading point. Actually, if we know that the world is a loop, we can explain that as well. Huh? Really? Yes, but first we need to be clear where the loop starts. Where the loop starts? Doesn't it loop at the walls next to the mansion in chapel? A loop doesn't start, it's just a loop. Not necessarily. If we heard a noise at the chapel from inside the mansion, then the loop... If you're just joining us, um, welcome, first off. We're in the Chapter 4 Trial, Danganronpa V3, Kill Har, and we're doing a charity stream um, to support Black Girls Go, our great organization. Information's right there to look at. Okay, we're nearly, we're making progress towards our goal of that. I'm gonna, and I'll give you a shout out. Oh wait, what am I doing? There's a looping point. There! I got it! The map loading point was where the virtual world looped. Just call me a Suichi Kitty. We thought the loading point was in the middle of the map. But the loading point was actually at the edges. 
So the wall you created wasn't at the edges of the world, but rather... Her wall was at the center of the world. You know, if I say I'm like a Suichi kitty, it just means like I, I like the guy or something, right? I see. So the mansion and chapel were near each other, with a wall between them. And any sounds emitted near the chapel would also reach the mansion. The wall only allows non-humans to pass through, so sound should be able to pass through easily. That's right! That's how the virtual world works! I mean my head <laughs> Impressive, Shuichi! For you to get this far! Yes! Yes! You are useful indeed! I'm more of a Suichi himbo. You simps. Is that something? For you to get this far? What are you, some villain pulling the strings? Nope. You pulled the strings here, not me. Remember? Mew also set this trap. It all began when Mew showed us the map. Because of the map, we mistakenly thought the loading point was at the center. Which in turn, made the mansion and chapel seem farther away from each other. But the structure of the world wasn't actually like that. There was a wall along the y-axis, and the x-axis came around in a loop. By putting that wall in the center of that world, she cut off the loop. So ever since Mew showed us that map, we were caught in her trap. But we solved this mystery thanks to Shuichi. All hail our savior! Yeah! If Shuichi wasn't here, then we never would have solved this mystery. That's right. Good work, Shuichi. <laughs> Thanks, Shuichi. You saved us. What is going on? Uh, you're welcome. Just because we found out the virtual world secret doesn't mean we can take it easy yet. Actually, this culprit hunt just got to the exciting part. Even if we know all the tricks, it's pretty meaningless if we don't find the culprit. That's how a class trial works, after all! Dude, he's gotta be the evil guy. He's talking like Monokuma again. He's even using the same music. No matter what you say, I'm not gonna believe your lies. I'm gonna believe in everyone. That's how I'm gonna reach the truth. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens next! We hit 500, yay! What a perfect stopping point! We got halfway to the goal, we're halfway through the trial!